Hello YouTube, today we're going to open uh, this kitchen tool. It's Hamilton Beach 3-in-1 Spiralizer. It creates zucchini, noodles, vegetable salads, cucumber ribbons, curly fries, spiral apples, and more. I'm just reading off the box. Uh, it has three blades. It includes the spiral cutter, ribbon cutter, and the grater. So we're going to go ahead and open it. I'm just going to show you the, the four sides of the box. Pretty much the same. This shows the three blades and a close up of the picture. Let's go ahead and open it. This is the manual. It shows you that this side is up and this is the spiralizer I believe. This is the top where the handle goes. And this is the blade for the ribbons. This is the crater. And the box says it has a five foot cord. Okay, we're gonna unplug it and we'll get back to you. Keep watching. Okay. Now we're going to start with the grater and hi again everyone uh, we started videotaping uh, yesterday night but the battery died so we had to wait until this morning for it to fully charge so anyways uh, we're going to get back the way I, I did it before uh, reading the instructions was I just twisted the disc here until it fit in but I noticed that there are two grooves here on one side and the rest have just one groove so just align the two here to the two on this side put it down and then you put the top piece and you twist until it clicks in and let's start with Apply, you need to apply some pressure okay we're back and now we're gonna grate the mozzarella cheese and by the way this has two speeds high and low I'm gonna try both speeds now Kind of 
smushed it. I don't know why. Maybe it was too big. <laughs> I don't like this whatsoever. Let's say the grater doesn't work. Okay, before I say it doesn't work, we're gonna give it another try with the cheddar cheese, the yellow cheddar cheese. This is a lot better. Mm. I would say it's a little bit better because you see this is great, but then the rest is smushed here. And then I can't do anything with this, so I don't know. For me, I really don't care about this because I don't grate cheese that often. Uh, as I said before, I got this for the spiralizer and I hope that part works. So, let's see. Okay, one more thing that I have to mention. This thing, this cover actually comes off instead of washing the whole entire unit this is better uh, i mean it's better for this to stay uh, dry so this is the only thing you do wash and it just snaps back in here and at the beginning i didn't like when i first opened this i didn't like the fact that this is open from both sides and i didn't see the point of it but now uh, I actually do like it because if, in case you're doing a big batch instead of unscrewing the whole thing taking out the blade and all that all you do is just pour it in into a, a ball and you're done so now we're gonna do the spiralizer to see how this works because this is why I bought the machine to begin with if this doesn't work then the machine is going back They do recommend to cut whatever uh, vegetables you're doing into two to two and a half inches. So let's go ahead. the slow speed I like this I really like it Wow. I'm not too optimistic with the carrots. They did say anything you do, you should have both sides flat so the blade can actually hold on to it. This is 
better than before, even though I did cut it when it was horizontal, uh, I mean when it was vertical, I cut both ends to be flat, but it didn't work, so I had to actually do it um, horizontal. But it's not bad for a salad. Mm, they're kind of stuck together though. See? Mm. This is the ribbon blade. with the potato. Forget anything? Let's try the potato with this fertilizer. I'll get, I'll get back. Okay, I'm trying this with the fertilizer and a potato. Let's see. because it does have areas that were not cut through 100%, but it does the job. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And I guess that's it, as long as it did the zucchini squash the way I wanted it, which is this. I am very happy with it. And this is a death net keeper. In conclusion, this is not a perfect uh, machine. And one of the reasons that I say it isn't, uh, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe is this small uh, blade right here. I'm not sure if, if you guys can see it. These small ones that do cut the spiralizer or the spiral the spirals are not deep enough maybe and that's why they don't cut through the whole thing and the other thing is the cheese I mean it pretty much made it into a sloppy bowl so it's not it's not usable at least for me um, other than that, I would definitely use use it as a fertilizer. And so, anyways, I do. In conclusion, I do like it for the fertilizer and for the ribbons. I don't think I will be using the grater, but again, that's not why I bought it. So, uh, if you do like the video, give it give it thumbs up, and see you soon with another video. Thank you.